Hello, and welcome to another episode of ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this tutorial for AOMEI's Partition Assistant Home Edition, which is a free software for private and commercial use, I'm going to show you how to extend a partition. Now, in most cases, on drive C, which is your main drive, or your main partition, I should say, you may have some low disk space. Well, in some cases, there's another partition, or multiple partitions, on the drive that has a lot of space to it, such as uh, recovery partitions and stuff. A lot of times they have a lot of space extra on them that's not being used. Now, to do this, we're going to use the Extend Partition Wizard. And it's very simple to use. Now, what we need to do is over here in the top left-hand corner, you'll see the wizards. And I've also demonstrated these other wizards in previous tutorials for the software. What we're going to do is click uh, Extend Partition Wizard. Now, the program will start up. And it wants to know what method you want to use to extend your partition below. Now, by default, it will extend the system partition, which is drive C. Now, you can also choose other partitions. Uh, that's on another drive, another disk, uh, another partition on your same drive. Uh, most cases, if drive C has a uh, low... Uh, space and you want to add some more space to it, if there's an adjacent partition to it, then you can take, and what this will do, will take uh, free space from one partition and add it to your main drive C partition. Or you could choose other ones, like I'm going to do here. I can't use the extend system partition because <clears throat> I've already done that, and there's not enough room on the recovery partition to do that. But I'm going to give you a demonstration of how it works. Uh, take note, uh, let me close that out. Uh, when you're running the program here, you'll notice that the first drive starts with disk 1 in the software. But... In layman terms or in computer terms, it actually starts at zero, uh, just so there's no confusion. Because you'll notice here, the drive we're going to work for, or work on, is disk three. We're going to extend this partition, because as you can see, geez, I've only got 33, just less than 34 megabytes of uh, space. And what we're going to do is we're going to extend it. Now, keep in mind that this says it's disk 3. Now, let's click on Extend Partition Wizard. We'll start the program. Now, in your case, you can extend the system partition. It will take, uh, if you have a recovery partition, then it will probably take the space the free space off the partition and add it to your drive C. And I'm going to show you how this happens. Uh, I'm going to select any partition. Notice here that it says hard disk is disk zero. Remember what I said? This program starts from zero and counts up. Whereas the partition assistant uh, starts from one and counts up. So you need to keep an eye that when this shows up and it shows disk zero, you need to subtract one. Now it says the partition. Now it gives you uh, the two partitions that's on the drive. You have to have more than one partition. Now it's only going to show you two because the only way it can do this is by an adjacent uh, partition. 
Now, I'm going to choose a different drive. This is drive disk 0. Well, we need disk 2. Disk 2. Now, look here. Clo uh, let me put it back on there. Look closely because it lists that it starts from 0 instead of 1. Now, we need a disk 3, so we need to count 1, 2, and then 3. It brings it to disk 2 in this program. So you need to keep that in mind if you're going to change anything other than a system's partition. Now, we're going to select any partition from the hard drive to extend. Well, in this case, on disk 2, we're going to extend drive F, or partition F. As you can see, it's, it's selected. Now, if you need any help, there's the help button there that will bring up the extended partition wizard and walk you through the procedures as I'm going to demonstrate here. Now, it does have a note that when the operation is being executed, some shortcuts may be unavailable and your running programs may be closed. These are only temporarily, temporary and do not affect the run of your system. If you need to extend a FAT system partition, it is required to convert the FAT to NTFS first. Now, I do have a tutorial to show you how to convert the FAT 16s and the FAT 32s to NTFS. So, uh, I will give you the listings. Uh, I do have the videos to show you how that's done. But, again, this is the help section in case you need to have any kind of help. So, we'll choose next. Now, the program is going to load the drivers, everything it needs to get the stuff to do. Now, it says that it can extend NTFS partitions without losing data and restarting the computer. Now, you can choose the automatic mode for extending a partition. And then we'll choose next. Now, the automatic means that the software will do it all by itself. Or, you can do it manually, which I'll go ahead and show you. We'll choose next. Now, it says here to extend the partition's capacity you need to select the following partitions which will shrink in order to release free space. What this is going to do is it has the partition highlighted. It's the only other partition that's on the drive. Now, in the other one, remember it said it only had less than 2 gigabytes? Well, this one has 109.8 gigabytes. Well, it's going to shrink this volume and give that free space to the other partition. Now we'll choose, uh, it'll say after selection, please click next to specify the new size for the partition. So we'll click next. Now here we're going to use, uh, it gives you a graph and it wants to please specify the new size of the partition either by moving the slider, which is this, or by entering a proper value into the partition's new size box, which is here. Now, you'll need to know how much you want to give it. And the minimum partition size is 1.92 gigabytes. The maximum you can give it is 111 gigabytes. So, the slider right here, you can either slide it like this, and it will show you graphically exactly what it's going to do to your partition. Now, I've shown you how to do this uh, in other tutorials. And this one is a wizard that will just walk you along through the steps. Now, 
let's let's go ahead and split it. We'll just put it like something right there. We'll just split them in half, basically. Now you can, if you want, either use a slider, or as it says, you can just enter a number down here. Now remember that whatever number you put in, it will give you the minimum that you can you're allowed and the maximum you're allowed. And it will tell you here to enter that you can enter the number and as you have to be sure that you use either GB for gigabytes, MB for megabytes, or KB for kilobytes. So you want to be sure that if you're going to manually enter the amount of space that you want to, your partition to be, to be sure that you use the correct letters. Now, if you just slide it, you can see how your numbers change. You can slide it back and forth to decide what, how much space you want to add to your partition. And this will change accordingly. Now, this says your new partition size. The new increased size down here shows how much the partition had increased. So we're going to stick it right about the middle, which is close enough. This is 56, that was 55. The partition had increased 54.3 gigabytes from 1.92. Now, once you decide where you want the partition, the size, this is the one that we're working with. We've increased it by 54 gigabytes. Now, we're going to choose next. This, again, is the operations. It's going to shrink the volume of G, which is going to shrink it from 109 gigabytes to 55, as you'll see right here. It decreased by 54 gigabytes. Now here it's going to move the volume. Uh, I've shown you how to uh, move partitions in other tutorials. It's going to move the uh, volume size of 55 gigabytes and it's going to move it 54 gigabytes. That means it's going to move that partition back 54, by 54 gigabytes. And then it's going to take that 54 gigabytes and add it to this one where it says extend volume. It's going to, root, it's going to increase from 1.92 gigabytes to 56 gigabytes. And here it talks about that it had increased the volume by 54 gigabytes. Now we choose proceed. Now, this is an informative window. It says the implementation of the operation may take several minutes, approximately 30 minutes, 58 seconds, or more. And you may need to wait for, with patience. Are you sure to confirm these operations? Now, because it's moving such large amount of uh, data, it can take some time. It does depend on the system, how much it has to move, and how fast the system is running. Now, it also says, note, that it's normal that some programs running on the partitions may be canceled, meaning that the program will shut them off if they're being used on a on the partition that's being uh, worked with. And certain shortcuts will be temporarily invalid which is also normal. So if you're clicking on a shortcut link and it don't work, don't panic. That's just because the program is in operation and once it's completed, then your link will start to work again. Then choose yes, that you're going to confirm these operations. 
And again, we're going to go through here. It's going to walk you through step by step. And again, it could take some time. And if you want to, you can also choose shut down the computer after completing the operations. Then, and there you go. Now, it just depends on how much information has to be moved. If it's going to take a while, you can also have it set, that, set to shut down the computer. And there's nothing that, no data on the drive, so this is why it took so little time to do. Uh, but once you're done, it'll say it's completed successfully, and then choose OK. And there you go. That is how you extend the uh, partition on your main drive, or any partition on the same drive. Now, when you cancel out after it's finished, it will bring it back to the Partition Assistant Home Edition window. You'll notice what's happened. Now, as you can see, there's not much data on there. That's why it took so little time to do it. But, I mean, if you did partitions that's almost full or had a lot of data right here, then, yeah, it's going to take a little time. Because it's got to move all that data. But as you can see here now, remember how this partition was real small and this one it was real large? Now we moved it. And that's how you use the Extend Partition Wizard. You can add uh, free space to your drive C or your partition C. And it will take it from uh, an adjacent uh, partition. And this is all there is to it. I've shown you how to do it manually in other uh, partitions where it used resize and move. This time we've used partition wizard to extend your current partition. And now you see how simple it is. Well, I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. This has been a presentation by ES Repair. We hope you enjoyed the video, and we do have other tutorials to this video on our channel and our playlist. The link for the software is available in the descriptions below, and I will also have it listed at the end of the video. Thank you for watching.